Today we're going to show you how to set up uh, a wireless system to monitor your outdoor wood burner's temperature. And we're going to show you, we're going to attach these two probes right here to our hot and cold lines. And this one is 300 feet. You can be in your kitchen or uh, down in the living room or wherever and you can monitor your uh, temperature, your water line's temperature. So we're going to hook it up and we'll be back in a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these meat probes Okay, they don't have to be just for barbecuing. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna take some electrical tape and just tape the probe right to this PEX line. Now the PEX line is gonna be about a 20 degree differential, so uh, just keep that in mind. And so I'm gonna tape these up on the hot line and on the cold line, and then we're gonna run a test just to show you. Hang on one second. As you see, we have the probes connected to the lines just by some electrical tape. Here's probe one for the hot, and this is the second one right here for the cold. If we look at here, cold is 86, hot is 115. Now remember this PEX line has a 20 degree differential so you're going to add 20 degrees to this number. Just keep that in mind and you'll be fine. Okay, so now how do we transmit that signal to the receiver that you're going to have inside your house or, or handy. So right now this receiver is off. We're going to turn it on. You just I'm going to hold the button for about two seconds. It should kick on. There it is. Now we're not get, receiving any signal. So now that this receiver is on, we're going to hold the button on the transmitter here. There's two buttons back here. You can see them. One's on and off. Obviously that's to turn it on and off. This one is going to sync it. It's going to send the sync signal. Hold that for two seconds. We heard a beep. So now our receiver is getting the highs and lows. And again, remember to add another 20 degrees to uh, those numbers. So we're about 50 to 100 feet away from the transmitter. I'm holding the receiver. You can see it's still transmitting.